Hello everyone, Simonian here, and today we're going to be exploring this nuclear missile facility. Let's get right into it. This is a very rare structure, actually. I, it actually took me a long time to find one of these again. So anyway, with that being said, let's get right into it. First things first, we're going to explore the outside here. Bunch of barrels, crates, and all. Rusted barrels. Not really exciting. We have the uh, goalkeeper twin chain gun here. Methalusa. <laughs> I actually don't know if that's how you say it. And then we have T-45 power armor here, a gas mask filter, and two rockets. I don't know what this was supposed to be, but it's clearly not in good shape. <laughs> Alright, more barrels. Nothing really too exciting. Alright, now we're going to go inside and explore the inside. Let's hope that's a little more interesting. <laughs> All right, heading down to down here, we have a bunch of computer terminals, monitors, tape recorders, and one capacitor, which is pretty crazy. And we have our little sentry turn here, which is pointing at us, which is kind of crazy. Edwin. <laughs> one of those barrels is not right. Like, <laughs> that's funny. All right, let's see here. We've got a bunch of smart energy drink, huh? Twinkie expired 600 years ago, which is, that's actually crazy. More, a whole bunch of filing cabinets. Cigarettes, hell yeah. Morning glory, empty cell, paper. Nothing really too exciting in here. All right, well, while we're here, I do need a key imitation kit. <clears throat> well, I actually need two of them. And another thing we need. Oops. Code. We need a code. That's right. We need this, too. This will be very helpful later on. All right. Anyway, let's get right into the rest of it. More filing cabinets. Nothing really too exciting. IBM terminal. This is our levers and switches and stuff. These don't have any purpose yet. As you can see, you can flick these all you want. One of these is definitely opening the silo hatch, but the other one's not going to do anything yet. We have a uh, Telex machine. I have no idea how to operate this, so I just avoid it whenever possible. More crates with nonsense. A broken CRT screen. Not very fun. This is where we need our first key here, which will give us a UAC-45 pistol and a gas mask. Which is pretty nice. We also have a bobblehead, which is not facing the right direction. It is null. Which, yeah, it's null. <laughs> All right. Anyway, pretty interesting. All right. Anyway, let's explore the rest of the facility. We're done with the blue area, and we're going to head down to the red area. Pretty exciting. Let's see here. Now, mind you, there is a bunch of anti-personnel mines in this facility. There's our first one. There's our second one. Boom. Already two. All right. We got our pinions here. Cloth, paper, casual pants. We have a microchip, a bottle of Nuka-Cola Quantum. I'll put these pants on so we can look fresh. Field boots, a gas mask, books. Just pretty much miscellaneous stuff you can get here. Half mask. Oh, conspiracy theory. Yeah, boy. And we got a political topic. Oh, boy. That's dandy. Anyway, let's get right in with the rest of the video. All right, we got three anti-personnel mines in here, which is actually crazy. Four. This brings our total of anti-personnel mines up to eight, which is crazy. All right, broken toaster. Have yeah, microwave. Nothing really too exciting in here. This is like the kitchen or whatever. More opinions, opi own opinions, conspiracy theories, political things, you know, that kind of nonsense. All right, look at that. I look cool as hell in that fit, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> That's funny. All right, anyway, let's get on with it. Ah, look at that. A safe place, you might think. What, what? What the heck? There was actually an anti-personnel mine in here the last time I recorded this video. That's crazy. All right, anyway, that's enough of that area. We're going to head down to the yellow section now. 
this is our depot area. So this is going to have like conserved crates, barrels, nothing really too exciting. Machine parts, rockets. That's actually pretty cool. Short range target designator, which is actually funny because we actually need one of those. We got two rockets in here. This is also randomly generated. We got a safe with a bunch of random parts and stuff. Pretty exciting. And we have a FM radio, which is interesting, I guess. This is like just more nonsense. You get a transformer there. Which is pretty nice. All right, next level. Great, the uh, green area. Hopefully it's more interesting than that area we just came from. All right, where's my other key? There we go. Might need that soon. Whoops, I almost went down to the last aisle. All right, this looks like the fueling area because the fuel pipes can connect directly to the rocket. Missile. <laughs> rocket. That's so how they go from here into here, which has an anti-personnel mine, which makes that nine anti-personnel mines. Pretty exciting. All right, so that we have kerosene barrels in here and liquid oxygen barrels in here, which is pretty exciting. Take a shot every time I say it's pretty exciting. Anyway, we got um, copper capacitors in here. And then we have... More anti-personnel mines. I think that was two. Which brings our total up to... What was it? Eight, nine, eleven, I think. I lost count. I'm not even going to lie. All right. We've got Tungsten Reacher. We have Mox Fuel Billets, Dream Fuel Billet, and Beryllium. Pretty exciting. <laughs> Again. And we have this weird-looking thing with a bunch of dense conducting coils. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a generator. They should have just put the industrial generator there. That gone but not forgotten, the industrial generator. All right, and the last but final area here, which is just blank. Except, in the keen eye amongst you might have noticed, there is concrete here, which is different than the rest of the wall. And that's right, we have stuff hidden behind here. This is our black section, which is like radioactive stuff. Papers, a bunch of boring stuff, yada yada, nobody cares about that. But then we have more radioactive stuff in here. Neptunium, uranium, more uranium gas mask, and a gas mask filter. I got those inverted, that's crazy. And here is where we need our second key imitation kit, because as you can see, we cannot open this. And there we have it, we have a silo launch key now. Which that means, since we have our code already, that we can launch this. So first things first, we're going to put that in there, and that in there. And now we're going to head up to the top, select our target, which is probably going to be some poor unsuspecting village. That's right. Yeah, there's a village over here. I don't know how I know, because this is the exact same seed that was in the last video that I recorded, which I realized was too echoey for some reason. So I at least hope that's fixed in this one. All right, so we're going to drop down right here, right on top of this thing. And just like that, we have our position set, and we're going to go back to our base, and we are going to launch this missile and probably wipe out that whole entire village. Very nice, very mindful, very demure. <laughs> I don't like how that one part just sticks out like that. I guess you wouldn't notice if it was actually like submerged properly, though. Submerged, immersed. Uh, heck if I know. All right, we are so ready to launch. All right, so we're gonna go back up to the blue area. I I have no idea which one of these actually opens the silo door itself. We're going to go with this one and then this one. Oh, fuck. We fucked up. Okay. Well, I hope it opened up in time. Because I realized I flicked the wrong lever at the wrong time. And look at that. It worked. It all worked out in the end. Because we have just wiped a village right off the map. Oh, that is beautiful.
You can just see it right there, and it's gone. Oh, yes, vaporized in an instant. That is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. That is honestly poetic. The freaking trees are on fire. Beautiful. That is so beautiful. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I guess, whoops. What are these with funky looking things? Are these are the, oh, those are molts. I thought they were elementals, honestly. Meltdown elementals. <laughs> All right, everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.